Hello, everyone. For the first part of this problem, we are to find the unknown k, given these three terms are three consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. Recall that an arithmetic sequence is a recursive sequence where new terms are created by adding a constant value each time. This constant is called the common difference and is represented by d. So given a1 is the first term, the second term can be created by adding the common difference d to a1. a3 can be obtained by adding d to a2, and a4 can be obtained by adding d to a3, and so forth. The final term, or the nth term, can be obtained by adding n minus 1 d to the first term. So because a1 plus d is a2, we can rearrange for d and we get d equals the difference between the first two terms. Also, we have a2 plus d, which equals to a3. We could rearrange and isolate d and we'll get d to be the difference between the third and second term. Therefore, we can conclude that the difference between the first term and the second term equals the difference between the second term and a third term. And in general, the difference between any two consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence are equal. Going back to our terms, letting the first term be the t term, and the second d plus one, and the third t plus two, we can conclude that the difference between the first two terms equals the difference between the last two terms. Then we substitute the given terms, distribute the negative in the, the second brackets at both sides. Then we collect the k terms on the left-hand side and the numbers on the right-hand side. And finally, combine alike terms and divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of k, which is two, to obtain k. So k is equal to nine. Next, we substitute k equal to nine in the three terms of the sequence to obtain their values. After simplification, we get the first term to be seven, the second nine, and the third 11. In part B, we are to determine the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence. Recall that we can calculate the sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence in two different ways, depending on whether the nth term is known or not. If it is known, the sum will be the average of the first and the nth term times n. If the nth term is unknown, we can find the sum by the given formula, where a1 is the first term and d is the common difference. In part b for this problem, it'd be easier to use the second formula as the 10th term is unknown. Now, given seven is our first term of the sequence, we see that the second term nine can be obtained by adding two to the first term seven and the third term can be obtained by adding two to nine so we conclude that the common difference d is two to find the sum using the second formula we substitute a1 n and d and then we'll get 10 over 2 times the products of 2 and 7 plus the products of 2 and 10 minus 1 we evaluate the bracket we'll get 14 plus 18 and their sum will be 32. Finally, we multiply 5 by 32 to get 160. So the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence is 160. Thanks for watching.